Thanks for tuning in. This video is about journaling before bed. My name is Eric. So you're lying in bed, going through the day in your mind, wanting to sleep so very badly because you were exhausted. But you have so much to do tomorrow. And what if tomorrow doesn't go as planned? Or then again, what if it does? Make sure you subscribe to the channel right now and click the notification bell so you don't miss out. There's so much to do, so much to plan, but this is your time to rest. So somehow we need to get these thoughts set aside and wait to deal with them in the morning when the actual day for doing these things really matters. The old saying is, when I doubt, write it out. And that's true. Write your plan the night before the next day actually happens. Write down your perfect day before the day actually begins. You can write then these thoughts at night or in the morning before the day actually begins. This technique has helped me personally when starting the day. Just writing down everything that's bothering me or everything I need to get done, anything I need to improve on, things I need to buy at the grocery store and how I'm going to budge my money so I can pay the rent. We all have these worries and right before bed is when they come loudest. We get up real anxious during bedtime and that hinders our sleep. Writing out all these issues on the paper before bed can work wonders on your sleep. When we think of multiple tasks we have to get done, most of us get anxious. A research study conducted recently suggests that writing them down could help us get some sleep. According to a study at Baylor University, people who wrote down their to-do lists for the next day were able to sleep faster. Now, the study took 57 adults and split them into two groups. One group wrote down the list of things they had to do the next day, while the other group noted tasks they had already completed. Both groups were given five minutes to write down and were instructed to go to, go to sleep at 10.30 p.m. Results showed members of the to-do list group fell asleep much faster than those who focused on their completed list. This is a quotation, quote, Most people just cycle through their to-do lists in their heads, and so we wanted to explore whether the act of writing them down could counteract nighttime difficulties with falling asleep. Close quote, said Michael K. Scullin, Ph.D., director of Baylor's Sleep Neuroscience and Cognition Laboratory. Findings were published in the American Psychological Association's Journal of Experimental Psychology. Researchers used overnight polysomnography, a tool that is used to monitor brain activity during sleep. Scullin said a larger study into the role of to-do lists with sleep could help people with disorders like insomnia. Open quote. Measures of personality, anxiety, depression might moderate the effects of writing on falling asleep. And that could be explored in an investigation with a larger sample. This is the USA Today .com. So make your to-do list the night before, or do it in the morning before the day begins, so you don't have to spend the en energy worrying about remembering it when you should be sleeping. Check the description below for some great journaling resources. Click in the description below for a great resource. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share the video with someone else who you think needs it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment below. Share any questions you have about the video in the comments below. And get your free natural sleeping guide at howtosleepbetternaturally.com.